Hello, good afternoon. It's Wednesday the 1st of April and I'm just here with my daily update. I'm going to start today just with some information for parents who may be either lost a job or worried about losing a job and the initiatives that were announced by the federal government. So the first of those, JobKeeper uh, uh, fund, uh, it is basically for employers to access to keep the employees on in their business. So if you are still uh, working, but you are worried about losing your job, uh, or your employer has indicated that he, uh, the employer may have to let you go, talk to them and ask if they've registered for the job keeper allowance. Uh, that support is there to help employers retain employees through these difficult times. The amount is approximately, I think around the $750 per week for each employee. Now, if you are currently working and you are earning less than that because of your, um, your role with that business or that company, then you also need to be aware that it may affect the other government payments that you might be receiving or service payments. So just double check that. You're not gonna be able to just go and, and get a job keeper $750 a week. What you need to do is talk to your employer. So if you're worried about losing your job uh, or, if you, or if you've just been told that you're being laid off, talk to your employer and ask them, have they registered for the job keeper support? and it is your employer that needs to do that in order to be able to access funds to keep you, the employee, in a job uh, for this next uh, period of time while uh, businesses are looking to stay afloat. The other announcement was around the job seeker fund. So that is where if you have lost your job, then you need to register to get the job seeker payments. Uh, you can either do that by going online, and that's probably better than standing in a queue. Uh, uh, hopefully by now, the, all that internet issues and the site crashing has been sorted out. You go on with and log on to your MyGov account and just register for uh, as a job seeker. Another couple of things which might be of concern to parents and some parents in our community are things like childcare. Uh, so the government has increased the number of absences allowed so that the subsidy continues. Now that's been increased to 62. So if you are worried about uh, your child's health uh, and you uh, don't want them to go to childcare and you're worried about losing your um, position at the childcare centre uh, or you're worried about um, you know the payments that you're making and is that going to make a difference in terms of keeping your position the government will continue to provide the subsidy uh, for the childcare uh, up to 62 absences in a 12 month period so and again this information will be on the uh, MyGov website or you can contact uh, Centrelink for that information but a, a little bit of information for those who have children in childcare uh, particularly uh, there are some people who have got kids at primary school or high school, but also have a, a, someone in, a younger one in childcare. And because kids, the schools are closed and the older kids are at home, they're not sure whether to send the younger ones to childcare or not and what impact that it's going to have. So just so you're aware, remember, uh, 62 absences are allowed now. The other important one for a lot of families is rent. And so the federal government has asked for a moratorium on rent. What that basically means is that um, for those experiencing financial hardship, that landlords should not be uh, evicting people in those circumstances. This doesn't mean if you are a tenant and you have breached the Residential Tenancies Act, so that could be to do with you know, damage to a property, it might be that you're keeping a pet there when you're not supposed to, uh, it's not in the agreement, it may be um, you know, there's more people there than uh, was agreed to let it to. Those sorts of things would still be reason for people to be evicted. But if you are experiencing financial hardship and finding it difficult to pay your rent, there's a number of things that you should do. First of all, make sure you communicate that to your landlord to let them know that, look, uh, I've lost my job or I've reduced hours or or something so that you, the landlord is aware. Also, to protect yourself 
you need to do that in writing as well uh, and record uh, when you communicated that to your landlord. So can you make sure that you just protect yourself in these circumstances? If you have an agreement to reduce rent or delay payment, you should also get that in writing. Right? You need to make sure that whatever agreement you come to with your landlord is documented because otherwise you know, it's going to be, could be problematic for you in the future. So again, it doesn't mean that you can't be evicted. It just means that, the, that if the reason for you being evicted is not paying your rent, then there'll be further announcements about this, I believe, on Friday. So you should look out for the government announcements. I will on Monday still continue with my uh, daily updates and give you some information about that as I find out more. But that's going to be important for some of our families who will be struggling to pay rent at this time. Oh, OK, now back to school. And we still have lots of work to do in the next few days in preparation for the term ahead. But first of all, we need to finish stage one. So I wanna make sure that we have the work that was sent out completed so we can move on with confidence to stage two. So stage one was about completing the home learning tasks that were sent home in the home learning packs. Everyone should have received that by now in the mail. If you're looking at this message and you haven't received it, you need to contact the school because most likely your details that we have at the school are incorrect. So I am quite certain the packs were sent out last week. So if you haven't received them by today, then I would think that your details that are recorded at the school are not correct and you need to contact us to fix those up so that we can actually get that, uh, the learning packs to you. So. Uh, and look, some of them may have taken a bit of time to get to you. I know lots of things are taking longer than usual at the moment, but once you have those loan learning packs, can you please have them all returned by the 10th of April? Uh, that's Friday week. So the sooner you can have your children work on those and return them, the better. Um, this time, a number of staff will be working through the Easter vacation, the usual Easter vacation as well, collecting and sorting through the home learning tasks that you send back to the school. So, look, I know I say this every day, we do need them back uh, because to finish stage one, to know what the students have done in order to prepare for stage two if it's required, we need the home learning tasks to be completed and returned to the school. The other thing is, can you please make sure your those forms that we sent out are uh, also returned? So there was the, uh, your uh, family details form and your third party consent forms. Some people have said, do we really need to send those back? Can't we do that after holidays? It's really getting difficult for us to communicate with you and give you all of the information and resources that are required for your children to continue with their learning at this time. So look, get it in as soon as you can, please. Finally, um, you know, people are looking for heroes at this time and probably the best hero anyone can be is a hero to their kids. So you as parents really need to be the kids' hero. So when uh, in a month's time or two months' time or probably in years' uh, time we'll be talking about this period of history and hopefully your kids, our students, uh, will look back to you as their parents and, and think about uh, how you got them through this time and set them up for the future despite the difficulties that you were experiencing. So uh, look, be a hero for your kids. Uh, tough as it is, you know, make sure that you're doing all the support stuff, but can you make sure that they do those home learning tasks to keep them on track and engage with their learning because that's going to be critical uh, for the future. So thanks again for your support and I'll be back again with another update tomorrow.